Hi, this is Dr. Rajeshwar from YR PharmaChu. In the previous video, we learnt the discovery, sources and nomenclature of benzene. If you did not watch the video, hit the i button on top right of this video to watch it. For the other topics of organic chemistry, links are available in the description below this video. Watch them. Also, answer the questions given in the community tab. In this lesson, we shall discuss the analytical, synthetic and other evidences in the derivation of the structure of benzene. Elemental analysis and molecular weight determination suggest that the molecular formula of benzene is C6H6. Since alkane having 6 carbon atoms is C6H14, benzene having molecular formula C6H6 in which 8 hydrogen atoms are fewer than N hexane, benzene is expected to be a highly unsaturated hydrocarbon. This is revealed by the reactions like when benzene is added to 3 molecules of chlorine atoms in the presence of light forms benzene hexachloride. In this reaction, the 6 chlorine atoms are added to the 6 carbon atoms of the benzene where double bonds are present. Benzene on addition of hydrogens in the presence of nickel catalyst produces a fully saturated compound that is a cyclohexane. As benzene is expected to be an unsaturated compound, upon addition of hydrogens, the double bonds present in the molecule of benzene get fully saturated, thus forms cyclohexane. On ozonolysis, benzene yields benzene triozonide. All these reactions indicate that benzene contains three double bonds in its structure. However, benzene does not give certain characteristic reactions of double bonds. Number 1. Benzene remains unaffected on treatment with potassium permanganate under normal conditions. Number 2. Benzene does not give addition reactions with halogen acids. And number 3. In the absence of sunlight and in the presence of Lewis acid catalyst, it undergoes electrophilic substitution rather than addition reactions. All these reactions lead to the conclusion that although benzene contains three double bonds, these are remarkably different from the ordinary double bonds. This difference gives rise to aromatic properties that is unusual degree of saturation and stability. Friedrich Kekulé in 1865 proposed a cyclic structure for benzene which is known as Kekulé's structure of benzene as shown in the figure 1 with three double bonds and it satisfies certain observations like that benzene contains three double bonds and all the carbons and hydrogen atoms in the benzene are equivalent that is carbons 6 and hydrogens are also 6 atoms Consequently, there is only one possible monosubstituted derivative as shown in the reaction here. However, structure 1 failed to explain certain characteristic properties of benzene. Number 1. Heat of hydrogenation. We can get a quantitative idea of benzene's stability by measuring the heating of hydrogenation. The heat released in a hydrogenation reaction of 1 mole of an unsaturated double bonded compound is called the heat of hydrogenation. Compare the quantitative data of benzene with cyclohexene, cyclohexadiene, cyclohexatriene to explain how much more stable is benzene. Cyclohexene has a heat of hydrogenation of 28.6 kilocalories per mole and cyclohexadiene has about twice to that 55.4 kilocalories per mole. We expect cyclohexadiene that is as benzene contains three double bonds in it to have a heat of hydrogenation about three times more to compare with cyclohexene that is 85.8 .8 kilocalories per mole. Actually, the value for benzene is 49.8 kilocalories, which is 36 kilocalories less than the expected value, which means that benzene is more stable by 36 kilocalories that would be expected from cyclohexatriene, that is, the Kekulé's structure of benzene. Thus, benzene has extra stability. Number 2. The unusual reactions of benzene. As benzene is a cyclic conjugated triene, we might expect benzene to undergo the typical reactions of polyenes. In fact, its reactions are quite unusual. For example, an alkene decolorizes potassium permanganate by reacting to form a glycol. 
the purple permanganate color disappears and a precipitate of manganese dioxide forms. When permanganate is added to benzene, no reaction occurs. Most alkenes decolorize solutions of bromine in carbon tetrachloride. The red bromine color disappears as bromine adds across the double bond. When bromine is added to benzene, no reaction occurs and the red bromine color remains. Addition of a catalyst such as ferric bromide to the mixture of bromine and benzene causes the bromine color to disappear slowly. Hydrogen bromide gas is evolved as a byproduct, but the expected addition of bromine does not take place. Instead, the organic product results from substitution of a bromine atom for a hydrogen and all three double bonds are retained. Thus, benzene has unusual degree of saturation. And number three, benzene forms only three disubstituted derivatives of the formula C6H4X2 or C6H4XY. The proposed structure 1 should give four disubstituted derivatives instead of three since C1C2 bond is different from C1C6 bond. The C1C2 has a single bond character while the C1C6 has a double bond character. In other words, structure 1 predicts four isomers that is two ortho, one meta and one para rather than the observed three isomeric disubstituted products one ortho, one meta and one para for C6H4X2. In order to meet the objections against Kekulese structure, a number of alternative formula shown here were suggested by different scientists from time to time. However, none of them could satisfy all the observed properties of benzene and were consequently rejected. In 1872, Kekulé pointed out that the carbon atoms in benzene are in a state of continuous vibration owing to which each carbon-carbon bond sometimes behaves as a carbon-carbon single bond and sometimes behaves as a carbon-carbon double bond. Thus, the two structures 1A and 1B are in a state of continuous oscillation and the structure of benzene is neither represented by 1A nor by 1B but it is a combination of the two. This left no difference between the two ortho positions and hence explained the formation of only three disubstituted derivatives. This was referred to as the Kekulé's dynamic formula of benzene. If the modified structure of benzene as suggested by Kekulé is considered to be correct, then theoretically one should get three molecules of glyoxol, one molecule of dimethyl glyoxol and two molecules of a methyl glyoxol from the ozonolysis of two molecules of orthoxylene. In fact, at that time, two scientists got these from ozonolysis of two molecules of orthoxylene. However, the modified Kekulé structure for benzene also fails to explain the extra stability and carbon-carbon bond lengths of benzene. Present day position of the structure of benzene Stability and carbon-carbon bond lengths of benzene Nowadays, X-ray diffraction and electron diffraction studies have led scientists to conclude that all the carbons and hydrogens in benzene are planar. All the carbon atoms are arranged at the corners of a regular hexagon and the carbon-carbon-carbon bond angles are 120 degrees. All carbon-carbon bonds are equal in length that is 1.39 angstroms and this value of bond length lies between the value of carbon-carbon single bond that is 1.54 angstroms and carbon-carbon double bond it is 1.34 angstroms. Both the values, bond and molecular orbital theories can well explain the modern structure of benzene as well as the peculiar properties of benzene. That is, the unusual thermal stability that is low heat of hydrogenation and low heat of combustion and unusual chemical stability that is electronic substitution rather than the addition reactions and resistance to oxidation by potassium permanganate, nitric acid and all except vigorous oxidizing agents called aromatic characters. Some of the modern structures of benzene explain all the above facts which could not be explained by its Kekulé structure. These include resonance structure and molecular orbital picture. Resonance structure 
According to valence bond theory, benzene considered to be a resonance hybrid of two Kekule and three Dwar structures. The Kekule structures making major contributions. Since a resonance hybrid is always more stable than any of the contributing structures, benzene should be more than expected from any of these structures. This is the case also as shown by its high resonance energy that is 36 kilocalories per mole. Further, the resonance structure also explains the equivalence of all carbon-carbon bond lengths and the formation of only three disubstituted derivatives. Molecular orbital picture. All the carbon atoms in benzene are in sp2 hybrid state. Each carbon has three sp2 atomic orbitals and one p atomic orbital. Each atomic orbital p or sp2 contains one electron. The p atomic orbital is perpendicular to the plane of three sp2 atomic orbitals which are oriented in space in a plane trigonally. Each carbon utilizes its three sp2 atomic orbitals to form two sp2 sp2 sigma bonds with two adjacent carbons and one sp2 s sigma bond with a hydrogen atom. Thus, the six carbons form a planar ring in which carbon-hydrogen bonds are also coplanar as shown in structure 1. Thus, the six p orbitals of the six carbon atoms are parallel to each other and perpendicular to the plane of the molecule as shown in structure 1. The p orbital of each carbon atom can overlap that is parallel to axis with the p orbital of its neighboring carbon atom on both the sides as shown in structures 2 and 3. The chances of overlap on both the sides are equal thus all the 6 p orbitals are considered as overlapped with each other as shown in structure 4. Thus electron clouds are formed above and below the plane of the benzene ring as shown in structure 5. All the carbon atoms in benzene being in sp2 hybrid state and each carbon-carbon and carbon-hydrogen bond being formed by sp2 sp2 and sp2 s overlap respectively, the carbon-carbon-carbon and hydrogen-carbon-carbon bond angles are 120 degrees and the molecule has a planar structure. Since 6 p orbitals have overlapped, that is combined, 6 pi molecular orbitals are formed, 3 bonding pi molecular orbitals and 3 anti-bonding pi molecular orbitals as depicted in the figure. All these observations can confirm the structure of benzene. This is the list of references followed for the lesson. That's all in this video, the analytical, synthetic and other evidences in the derivation of the structure of benzene. In the next lesson, we will discuss the aromatic character and Huckel's rule. Till then, never stop learning and never stop watching my videos. Thank you for watching this video.